antivirus no longer works simply because it's signature based. So you take, for example, my teams will take a piece of, vi a piece of malware, reverse engineer it, put a full stop, recompile it, and that's it. It gets past any antivirus system. Now, the biggest thing we always had, which information security didn't really look at, was the people. People have always been our biggest assets, and that is the biggest risk. So you've got this term, human firewall. Now, our organization being approximately 2,000 people, we have got 2,000 human firewalls. So no matter how much money you give me to secure the systems, as you often hear in the press, somebody clicked a link, somebody plugged a USB stick. That's the main thing. So if somebody brings something inside, there's nothing you can do. It's like you saying, yeah, you've got a front door, you've got a back door, and one of your children goes out and leaves the back door unlocked and you get robbed. But you had the best security, you had a five-point lock, you had everything in place. And I think with the nature of the threats, people tend to go for the more expensive technology, the fancy tools, you know, advanced persistent threats. It's all the big name tools, but what they miss is the basic hygiene of getting the passphrases right, getting the identities, understanding right. You've got 10 people working in your business. Why do you have 30 accounts on your Windows corporate domain system when you don't need them? Why do the 10 people have access to all the files when they don't need them? It's really stripping it back to the basics and getting the basics right. Because cyber criminals, they're just like any other business. They're like my business. They have different departments who have different tasks, but ultimately they have a PL and they want to invest the least amount of OPEX and CAPEX to be able to get the most profit. It's exactly the same methodology.